Hello and welcome to another Secret Bucky video here with Bobby Bentley. Today we are going over the wonderful water cycle and I'm going to demonstrate how it works. It's very simple. You start with some water, that water evaporates, then it condenses once it gets cold, oh, evaporates, condenses and then precipitates. I was going the wrong way. And right now, if my cameraman could zoom in, I have a little a vaporizer right here, or humidifier. As you can see, I have my, ooh, that's hot. I have my water, my little water section in there. And then this is my heat source representing the sun. When I put the sun to the water, all of a sudden it produces steam coming out. Now, that's well and good, but in order to recreate the water cycle, I need for that steam and water vapor to actually condense and then precipitate. So right now, I'm gonna use this as an atmosphere to trap the water, the water vapor. As you can see, it is actually fogging up in there right away. If you bring it in closely, you can actually see the water droplets forming on the top. Eventually, over time, what will happen is their droplets will form up and then they'll get heavy and fall down. If this video lasts long enough, we'll actually get to see that. But for right now, if you take a, draw our attention back up to the poster, so we had our collection of water. It is now evaporating. It's fogging up and condensing. Now, the last thing that we need to wait for is the precipitation to happen. And it does seem to be happening a little bit very slowly. Draw it in real quick here, and maybe we can see some. You can see the water droplets forming right there. They are too small to start precipitating yet, but very soon they will. You can see them getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The water cycle is very important to Earth because we have a limited amount of water, a finite amount of water that will eventually run out. That, that glass of water that you drank this morning, that water's been on Earth for millions of years. It has not changed. Sometimes it's dirty, sometimes it's clean, but it has been there for millions of years. And now, I think we've got enough to see the precipitation. You can actually see the drops. They're forming, they're getting bigger and bigger. And now, when we open it up, you can actually see all the steam, and you can see the water droplets inside running down. If you liked my video, make sure you subscribe. Maybe hit the notifications button. Otherwise, until the next time.